a personal insult to you, but when you're gone, you want to be able to um, leave behind a system and an infrastructure that can really substantiate confidence with that attester aside from your personal uh, reputation. And so this has really um, been of, of value, especially for meeting planning vendors that tend to have a lot of volume. Um, what is your reconciliation population? Should you do your entire population in your check, a statistical sampling, or just a spot check? A spot check is typically when you, have, you may have 10, 15 vendors that you deal with, but you notice that you have the most problems with four or five of them. So you may want to do a 100% check on those four or five and either leave the others alone or do a statistical sampling of the others just to, to make sure that you did your due diligence. So there are um, different reconciliation populations you can look at. And then um, another challenge is really getting the available backup. The backup varies from vendor to vendor. Some vendors are really great and they have a great turnaround time. They can provide you with system reports, um, ex expense receipts, everything, and their rationale in, in full detail within a week. And others totally start freaking out a little bit and um, get into just adding bureaucratic layers. I mean, we have seen some vendors say, um, we're concerned about this, uh, we need to put this through our legal counsel, et cetera, even if it's a QC check. So automatically when a vendor starts getting really concerned um, with that, then we, we start looking at it and saying, hmm, maybe we should consider them for a 100% reconciliation because they 